In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze cryptocurrencies based on data and metrics. If you like to invest in crypto, but you don't know how to do your own research, this video is for you. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. And before I go any further, I want to remind you that although I'll talk about an example token in this video, this isn't a suggestion that you do or do not buy that token. This is not financial advice. This is solely for educational purposes, specifically education about doing your own research. Now, let's get into it. First, let's get the lay of the land for which sites and metrics we're going to look at in today's video. First site that we'll go to, you're probably familiar with if you use crypto heavily, and that is CoinGecko. We're going to go here to find the price and basic information about the market cap and fully diluted valuation for our token. Next site that we'll go to is known as Token Unlocks, and this is a really, really useful site for doing tokenomic analysis because this is going to tell us the inflation rate for our token as well as any upcoming unlocks. If you ever hear stories about tokens crashing because a huge portion of the supply came unlocked, this is where you can do to find that. Third site that we're going to go to is known as DeFi Llama, and this is really the core of where I do a lot of my fundamental analysis. DeFi Llama has stats like the total value locked, also known as deposits, revenue, and then the fourth and final site that we're going to look at is known as Artemis. Artemis allows you to see the active addresses and transactions for different chains. And again, this is going to be really helpful for determining how many people are actually using this chain that we're looking at. And before I go any further, I also want to highlight that if you want curated on-chain metrics, I send out a weekly newsletter where I send out my own analysis every single Monday. You can subscribe at dynamodefi.substack.com 100% for free. All right, let's get started on our example then. For this video, we're going to use the OP token for optimism as our example token to analyze. And OP is really interesting because a lot of major companies are building things on the OP stack right now. Coinbase is building their chain on the OP stack. Worldcoin is launching on optimism. And so I thought it might be interesting to analyze the token itself, given that it's in the news. First thing that we do is we go to the token page on CoinGecko. Optimism is actually on the first page of CoinGecko, but you can see I just searched it in the search bar up here. And we see some basic information here about the price, the market cap, the circulating supply, etc. And then there's also some useful links over here on the right. By the way, quick tip, anytime I go to a project's website or Twitter, I always go to CoinGecko first because there's so many fake Twitter accounts, so many fake sites out there that are trying to fish you. I always like to go straight from CoinGecko. However, in the case of optimism, let's look at these analytics now. First thing that you'll notice is the market cap is 1.162 billion. So pretty high market cap, but potentially still room to grow. Uh, and then you also notice the fully diluted valuation is almost 7 billion. What's the difference between these two metrics? And some of you, this might be basic for, but I think this is the most common area where people get wrecked in crypto. So I want to make sure I go over it. And this is, I would say, the most important number to look at. And fully diluted valuation is the market cap if every token, even tokens that aren't in circulation, were put into circulation. So early investors, the team, advisors, for example, those people might have tokens that are not yet unlocked, right? They might not unlock until later this year. They might unlock next year. They might unlock in four years. However, they're not in circulation yet. And the reason why people get wrecked is they look at optimism. They say, okay, Coinbase is building on them. Worldcoin's building on them. All these other great projects are building on them. I think this is a $6 billion coin. I'm quoting here, right? I'm not saying this. I'm, I'm quoting. People say this. I think this is a $6 billion coin. And what they don't look at is they don't notice that, okay, well, the fully diluted valuation is already over $6 billion. That doesn't mean that there's not a chance for it to meet somewhere in the middle because some of those coins are going to be locked up for a long time. But that means that in order for it to get to a circulating market cap of $6 billion, the fully diluted valuation would have to be something like 42 billion, which would be extremely high. And so you always want to look at this and you want to look at the circulating supply and the total supply. And if you see a situation like optimism where you see, okay, there's a lot of supply that's not yet in circulation, then what we have to do is we have to go and look at what the inflation rate this year is and when the next unlocks are. So that brings me to our next tool, which is going to be token unlocks. So this is token.unlocks.app. You can search most major coins here and you'll find all that information that I just mentioned. 
And to break down this page a little bit, we can see the price and some basic stats like we saw in CoinGecko over here. And we can see that the exact amount that's actually in circulation right now is around 16.69%. But then over here, we see the annual emission rate. And what this is telling us is that the inflation rate over the next year is 40.5%. Now note, that does not mean that 40% of the tokens are coming to circulation. It means that 40% of the current circulating supply will be unlocked and enter circulation over the next year. And so if we go down here to this chart, we can see the exact schedule of this. Right now, there's just over 700 million OP in circulation. And one year from now, in August of next year, there will be just over 1 billion OP in circulation. So about there's 700 million now, 300 million are going to be unlocked over the next year. So it's relatively steep in inflation rate. And then we can also see an upcoming event here. And we can see that the next unlock is in 27 days, nine hours, 24 minutes, and 37 seconds, and that that's gonna be 3.37% of the circulating supply with about $40 million of OP entering circulation. And so I'll say this is relatively steep inflation. Uh, it's not the steepest I've seen, right? So it's not so much that it couldn't be overcome by adoption or bullish sentiment in the event that OP gains more attention, but it's definitely something to watch out for, especially around the times of these unlocks. Some other interesting information you can see here, for example, is the actual allocations of the tokens. In general, you wanna look for a sizable allocation for the community. You don't want something that has 90% to early investors in general. And this is token unlocks. Again, really powerful resource, learn it, use it. Next, we're going to go over to DeFi Llama. And like I said before, this is where I do a lot of the hard hitting fundamental analysis, because this is where you're going to find the actual stats about usage for the protocol. So far, everything we've talked about is just about the token, just about supply. This is where you actually find out are people really using this protocol. And the first page on DeFi Llama is based on specific DeFi applications. So these would be your DEXs like Uniswap. These would be your liquid staking like Lido. But what we want to do in this case is we want to go over to chains over here on the left. And that's because Optimism is a chain. Optimism has other applications built on top of it. And if we go here, we can see that Optimism is currently rank five. And this page has a lot of useful information about Optimism. We can see that there's 170 DeFi applications built on it. We can see that over the past 24 hours, this website, DeFi Llama, is tracking about 87,000 active users. And then this one day, seven day, and one month change represents the total value locked. And total value locked is the sum of all of the deposits in all of these 170 DeFi protocols on Optimism. And we can see that that is about $866 million right now. Some other useful stats, and we'll dive into all this a bit more, are stables, 24-hour volume, and fees, which are not displayed here. So next thing you can do is you can click into Optimism and you'll be able to do this with any protocol or chain you look at. And you can actually see the chart of these things across time. And if you look at the total value locked here, for example, it actually looks pretty good, right? It's been up and down. It, it really peaked in uh, August of last year and then had a dip after FTX collapsed, but then it climbed back up and it's held relatively strong since then and has actually been going up for the most part since June. Yes, this is partially because of incentives, but overall, I would say this curve actually looks long-term, like pretty solid uh, uptrend growth. You can add other stats to this as well. For example, you can add volume. This is the volume on decentralized exchanges on Optimism. So you can use this as a proxy for how people are actually using the network. And we can see that, that okay, there's there is some money transacting on chain, but it's cooled off quite a bit from what it was earlier this year. And then another metric that I really like here is going to be stable coins and inflows. Stable coin is the total number of stable coins on Optimism. In this case, it tracks the total value locked very closely, uh, which is exactly what we're looking for, right? Uh, the reason you would look at stable coins here is TVL can sometimes be misleading. So if you look at this chart here and you say, okay, it's going up, Maybe that's just because the price of the OP token has been going up, right? And in that case, this TVL means nothing. It just means that these tokens are already deposited and they're going up in price. So 
so so the tvl of the chain is going up in price if you go to stable coins and see that the amount of stable coins has gone up from where it was last year then you know okay so a lot of that increase is actually because new stable coins are coming to the chain and then to look at inflows this will tell you something similar if we look at this i drag here to zoom in then we can see okay look at this over the past couple months optimism has been seeing a lot of inflows and so despite some of the concerns with tvl being relatively flat over the past month or two with the upcoming unlocks we see okay people are still on net bridging money to this chain so net inflow is really really powerful to see there's except for a couple days where people were bridging outward you know this this has been almost all all inflows and so that's really really solid if you're looking at a chain because that shows that adoption is increasing one other page on DeFi llama that can be powerful to go to is the fees and revenue page over here this will work for both chains and protocols if you go here then you can see all of the top earning crypto protocols whether it's a chain whether it's an app and you see optimism is currently rank 13. if we click on this it's going to show us a breakdown of the fees either by day week or month and so if we look at it by week then this is looking like a much better picture now right rather than peaking earlier in the year this did peak late april but then it started to climb again and last week was actually their best week in months for fees so that's something that i really really like to see and if you look at their revenue then their revenue it was actually their best week maybe ever no it was their best week since early 2022 when they first did their airdrop and so yeah that's that's really really solid growth in revenue and some of you are probably asking what's the difference between fees and revenue here basically fees are from the user's perspective so if you're a user you're using optimism fees are what you pay to use the network revenue is what actually goes back to optimism either treasury or holders so in the case of optimism you pay to use the network some of that goes to settle transactions on the ethereum network some of that goes back to optimism so the revenue is what actually goes back to optimism and then the final network final website that i like to use is artemis artemis has a lot of great features but what we're going to use it for today is to track active addresses and transactions up here at the top you can choose which chains you want to see they have a bunch i chose some major chains and ethereum layer twos and you can choose the period we'll shorten it to three months here and then if we just look at optimism optimism is the one in deep red it's uh, kind of confusing with avalanche so i'll remove avalanche from this chart and if you look at optimism you can see okay over the past couple of months addresses have been going up slightly they've maybe been been flat for the past couple of weeks but overall definitely that is an uptrend but transactions have been on a really strong uptrend right in may optimism was running about one to two hundred thousand transactions a day maybe getting up to three hundred thousand transactions a day now it's this is a log chart so it kind of understates the growth but now, now it's running six seven eight nine hundred thousand transactions a day and if we look at it on a one year time frame then look how stark that is right despite the fact that it's had it's had some peaks and drops that is just really really stark long-term growth in transactions and even active addresses and so that shows that more people are using the network this doesn't qualify the actual value of those transactions yet so in the case of optimism i believe that part of this is from people signing up for worldcoin however users are users and this does show increased adoption and usage of the network like we saw with these fees in this case it did actually translate to a surge in revenue as well for curated metrics and analysis sign up for my weekly newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com and if you want more videos like this be sure to like and subscribe until next time this is dynamo DeFi.